We are so glad that you are here with us for another week of PC Kids Online. That was the worst chest bump of all times. I was scared once we got close to actually hit you. <laughs> I am pretty muscular. <laughs> that was not why. All right, we have a great week of fun for you today. We're gonna go on a field trip. Oh, We're gonna yeah. do Real Unfortunate and have oh, tons yeah. of other fun stuff for you to see. So we just can't wait to get started. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go. All right, to Wheel Unfortunate, we go. We are here at Wheel Unfortunate, and today is the day I break my losing streak. Nope. I'm gonna win. Pastor nope. Ryan's gonna have to do something very unfortunate. I got the mathematics. I'm already in your head. I already know what one you're gonna do first. <laughs> you're gonna, little nervous. She's gonna do rock first, I know I it. I don't want to lose again. She's gonna do rock first, watch. All right, girls at home, boys at home, cheer for me, I want you to hear. Go Pastor Leah. Go, Go Pastor, Pastor Ryan. Ryan. Go, He's Pastor so Leah. awesome okay. and super muscular. No. Okay. Rock Okay, don't scissors. do rock. Don't do rock. Here we go. Ready? You ready? <laughs> no. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want me to do rock, that means he wants me to do rock, which means he's gonna do paper, which means I don't know. Okay. Or maybe I said that so that you would do rock thinking that I wouldn't do paper. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! Okay. Don't worry guys, it's what I wanted. Oh, just one more. <laughs> Please, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! I told you. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Mathematics, here we go. I'm not even gonna look, ready? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. We both have paper. It's a tie, thanks for coming up to PC Kids. <laughs> well, that's it for Wheel Unfortunate today. Okay. Oh wait, I need to think. No, don't think. What are you gonna do? The, the longer you think, the more thoughts I'm putting into that lovely oh. pair of yours. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh. It's all part of the plan, don't worry. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! Guess who's back, 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 uh, again, again, again. I hope you get a peanut butter facial on your skin, skin, skin. Yo, I'm a rapper and I didn't even know it. Guys. All right, spin the wheel, let's go. We got we got things to do. We got a vehicle waiting for our field trip. I need to study rock, paper, scissors. Yep. <sighs> the art of rock, paper, scissors. That's how they say it. Here, let's hold hands. I don't want to. Let's hold hands. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I do not want to do this. Dun 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 Hello, friends! I would just like everyone to know that this past week I have felt better than I have felt in months. It's true. And we're about to bring on whatever this is gonna have. A beautiful little fish kiss. <laughs> How long should you have to kiss it for? I don't know. <laughs> How long? At least are you gonna... it's frozen. Yeah, that's better than a raw one. Like at least it's not floppy. Uh, how long do I have to kiss it for? Uh, ten seconds. Okay. You have to close your eyes though. But then you have to kiss me afterwards <laughs> with my fish. Lips. Always. <laughs> 10 seconds. Okay. And you have to close your eyes. No. Yeah, you have to close your I'm eyes. I'm not closing my eyes. You have to close your eyes. I'm not closing my eyes. You have to close your eyes. Why? It's real unfortunate. So what, you have to do the what rules. are you gonna do to me when I close my eyes? Nothing, it will help you not be scared. I'm not, I will close my eyes after I'm kissing it. No. I'm not closing my eyes before I kiss it. What, what could I possibly do? I don't know, but you could do something and I'm not closing okay. my eyes. Okay, we gotta hurry this up, let's go. Okay. All right, close your eyes. You don't need to close. You I have the garbage here in case I need to throw up. Okay, ready? Okay. Just gonna be a little kiss on the lips. Can I okay. do this? Nope. Full pucker. <laughs> Full pucker. Let me do it. Ready? No. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Mm. Close your eyes. No, I'm not closing my you eyes. Have to close your eyes. I'll close my eyes after. No. I no. It's like. Mm. On the butt. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, right. 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> <laughs> what what do we say? That is so unfortunate. Bye boys and girls! <laughs> da -da. Da -da. Da -da. <laughs> what did the baby ew? Did the baby not like the taste of frozen fish? You stink! So breathe it in. Go away. All right, we are gonna go now. We've got a field trip heading up. Field trip with Pastor Ryan and Leo. And we are gonna it's a jingle. go. Jingle. I made up a jingle. To the beach. The beach. That way. No, it's actually that way. Beach. This way. Okay. That way. That way. Okay. We are gonna go to the beach and we're gonna go see what we can find. Maybe we'll see a shark swimming yes. in the water. Yes, sharks live in Lake Ontario. Or maybe we will see fish or find some cool seashells. We're gonna go to the beach, see what we can find, and we hope that you will enjoy heading along with us. Are you ready to go? Yep, I gotta grab my beach toys. Of course. Your beach toys, towel, sunscreen. Don't forget your sunscreen. It is hot out there, folks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the beach. Let us go. All right. Let's we're at the, the beach. Thing. We're at the, oh, the sand toys. Okay, all right. They're falling everywhere. Oh, I call using this one. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go to the beach. I'm gonna build a sand castle, and then I'm gonna go swimming, and then I'm gonna go diving, and then I'm gonna go metal detecting for buried treasure. I know, it's perfect weather. Oh, I'm so excited. This is our first beach day this year. I know, it's like a million degrees outside. Where should we go? Look. Oh, 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 yo, we gotta do this. Sandcastle building competition, all right. Okay, PC kids, we're gonna join the sandcastle building competition and- uh, I'm gonna win. No, I'm gonna win. I always win everything. You win Wheel Unfortunate. I'm gonna win the sandcastle building competition. Well, whatever. Let's all go right. get our sandcastle so building stuff find ready. It and, uh, so I can win. Oh, I think it's just over here. Yes, this is the perfect spot. Yeah. I can already envision it. It's gonna be massive. It's gonna be 70 feet tall. 70 feet? Yep, yeah. 70 I don't feet. You can build a sandcastle that big. Oh, just you wait. Okay. You haven't even seen my abilities. Set up here and then we can get started. I All think right. we have about an hour before the judging starts. Okay, so where are you gonna build yours? Uh, probably right over there by the rocks. That's so far. See, rookie. I'm building mine right near the edge of the water. That way the sand will be easy to pack down. 70 foot, er, here we go. I am confident. I think I can do it right by the rocks. My sandcastle is going to be way better, way prettier, and stronger than yours. All right, let's try this. What are you doing? I'm building my castle. It's a sandcastle building competition. Where's oh, your sand? I talked to the rules, or I talked to the guy who does the rules, yes. and he said you can use anything that's on the beach. So I want mine to be strong and sturdy and last a long time. So I'm going to use a little bit of sand, but I'm mostly going to have rocks as the foundation. That's so much work though. You gotta carry them and they're heavy. Yeah, but then it's gonna build a castle that actually lasts instead of, I don't know, a sand one. Come over here, Mr. Cameraman. Look at this. Look at this. Here's all I need. Nice, pure sand and some water. 70 footer. She's gonna be beautiful. You can have a working indoor pool and everything. It's all about the fanciness. Strength doesn't matter here. The judges like fanciness. It's gonna be a beautiful garden, very lush. Um, adds the property value significantly. Hey, are you all done yours? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what this is. This is just a pile of rocks um, with a feather on it. This is a rock castle. It's awesome, it has a little fire pit up on the roof. There's a swimming pool, an awesome flag inside. You can go in, you can sit on the sun patio. This is the best castle ever. And this is a- That's a pile of rocks. Your hammock off of. So awesome castle for me. I think I'm gonna win. No, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at this. 
This is a castle. We got lush gardens, a protective wall. I have a drawbridge made out of some old man's comb that I found on the beach. Look at this, there's a whole village here. Who needs a fire pit when you have a village? All I know, sandcastle competitions are all about beauty, not strength, so I got this. All right, hey, you, I'm gonna go find this judge. Can you keep an eye on these? All right, I'll be back in one sec. Let's find where this guy is. All right, all right, all right. Lifeguard Larry's here to judge. Oh, hi. How are you, yeah. sweet thing? Yeah. Lifeguard Larry. Lifeguard Larry. Hi, Larry. Um, are you Lifeguard here? Larry. Oh, sorry. Hi, Lifeguard Larry. Are you here to judge our competition? I'm here to judge the competition today. Oh, I guess Pastor Ryan found you then. I don't know who that is. I was walking down the beach checking out the sand castles, bringing the trophy around, gonna do the judging. All right, well, this is my castle. Nice. So here we've got a cool flag. It kind of gets tipped over a little bit. And that's, I'm gonna take points off of that. That's pretty lame. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so there is a fire pit on the roof. Nice, that you can use. nice. Um, there's a cool spot here. You can hang your hammock. Nice. And this is our awesome swimming pool. You can dive off the top nice. and jump right into it. Um, Look at that, it self empties. Yeah, you pay a lot for that on pools. Yeah, so it cleans itself. Cl self cleaning. Um, on the inside, there's lots of shade. There's lots of room inside the home. You can also sunbathe on the deck here. And yeah, so this is pretty much my, uh, my castle. I'm gonna be honest with you, sweetheart. Today, this isn't about a competition for prettiness. It's about strength. You see, lifeguard Larry, he's building a new beach house just down the way, and he needs a, a concept idea. Yeah. And people always need pretty things. I'm not a pretty man. You know, I know that. I'm just, I'm pure muscle, pure strength. And so, I'm designing my house to be able to take the waves here off Lake Ontario. Okay. And uh, we are gonna test this by just pouring water on it. Okay. and seeing how it does. Okay. All right, so no more talky-talky about yourself inflating, deflating, cleaning pool, because it don't matter, because lifeguard Larry's not a fancy man. Okay. I have sweat dripping down my lips right now, and Ew. it tastes like salt. Ew. Lifeguard Larry loves salt. I'll be right back with the water, one second. That's so encouraging, a strong foundation. I really think I'm gonna win. I mean, Pastor Ryan's is pretty, but it does not have a strong foundation. Who, who do you keep talking to? PC Kids, they're here with us at the beach. I'm on TV. I didn't, hi mom. Hi mom. All right, back to the competition. Uh, so we got some fresh water here sponsored by Wilson Volleyballs. And uh, great company, great name brand, great friends for you on the beach. All right, Wilson, always there for you when you need them. All right, so we got some water here. I'm just gonna start to pour. Things might get messy and I apologize if they do. Yeah, All right. Yeah, get get out of here. All right. Let's see how this puppy does. Oh, there goes your fire pit. See, fanciness doesn't matter. All I care about is how your structure holds up. So far, so good. And nice. a big rainfall. And some hail. It survived. Yes, I think I could really win this. Pastor Ryan's, I mean, it looks good. I don't know if it's gonna last, though. So. All right, you said there's one more? Yeah, right over here, let me show you. All right, let me get the water and I'll be right back. All right, so I might be judging for some strong castles, but all I know is some of those builders, mighty fine, mighty fine. All right, Miss, uh, what was your name again? Leah. Leanne, nice to meet you, sweetheart. Leah. Mighty fine. So this is uh, Pastor Ryan's castle. I don't Who's know Pastor Ryan? I, I don't know where he went. He was here. This was his castle. So um, can you wait for him? Or... No, I got things to do, places to be. Okay, he's going to be mad at me again. But you know what? That's okay. Go ahead. Do what you need to do. Judge All right. Castle. So see. this, I can already tell. This is, this is a pretty boy's. This is a pretty boy's thing. He's more worried about vegetation. You, you, this is fake. It's not even planted. Look, what a faker. And the fact that he would steal a poor comb off an old man. Well, so I think sad. he just found it on the beach, but. So sad. All right, so let's start our pouring and see how this goes. Okay. All right, let's see how it goes. Oh no. Look, look. Oh no. No structure. Look, and a pail comes, look what happens. Ah. Uh. 
Uh, well, um, maybe don't. Lifeguard Larry, look, I he worked really hard on that. I am gonna, and... I am, I am gonna keep this though. Oh no, he's gonna be so, so mad nice. at me. All right, well, um, I do have some good news for you. Okay, well, what's that? Uh, we are gonna. Go oh, my comb keeps falling out of my hair. Now I see why maybe this old man got rid of it. There we go. I'm gonna go look over my points. Okay. And uh, but I think we have a clear winner here, folks. One second. Okay. All right, so after much deliberation, and by much, I mean next to none, we have a very clear winner here today, folks. Miss Leanne, the mighty fine sandcaster builder. Miss Leanne, congratulations. I won, yes, finally take that, Pastor Ryan. My castle was better than your castle. Your castle is a piece of broken sand. I wanna thank my mom. I want to okay, thank that's enough talking from you. I'm Life God Larry, and I'm important. Uh, and so not only do you win this, you win a lifetime supply of Wilson volleyballs. Thank you, Wilson. Wilson, your awesome. friend on the beach when you need him and need. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, it was, you were a clear winner. Clear winner. This pretty boy over here uh, built this, this whole thing on sand, yeah. fell apart as soon as the rains came down. That was uh, no good. You? No good. Nice and strong on the sturdy rock. And that is what got you the win today. All right. Hey, that actually reminds me of a story in the Bible. There's the story that um, that Jesus tells where he talks about how there's like a wise builder and a foolish builder. Oh, no, no, the no, wise. no, no. I know. I know the story. You do? It's my life motto. The wise no. man built his house upon the rock and the foolish man built it on the sand. You know it, that story? What are the chances that the exact same thing here happened today at our sandcastle? It, it happened today at a competition. Every morning I made a, a, a video, nice little music video. video, Lifeguard Larry's music video incorporated. It's a great company if you need a video made. I made a video and every single morning I watch myself to remind myself of how I should live my life. How you, God is our everlasting rock? God is our everlasting rock. Do you want to take a listen? I would love to listen to it. All right, let me go get into position. One All right, second. Man, I can't believe Pastor Ryan is missing this again. He's going to be so mad. <laughs> Trust in the Lord, Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord. Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. You see, there's a story in the Bible where two men wanted to build a house. One man took the easy way and built it upon the sand. Another man worked a little bit harder and he built it on the rock. And here's what happened. The wise man built his house upon the rock. Wise man built his house upon the rock. When the rains came down and the floods came up, his house stood still. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sands. When the rains came down and the floods came up, the house went splat. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. You see, so we can learn from this story today that it's important to put our trust in things that are strong. And we can know that we can trust God and that God is the strongest thing of all. God's stronger than a mountain. God's stronger than a rock. God's stronger than all of the oceans and the seas in the entire world. If we put our trust in God, we can know that we will stand when the storms of life come. 
Let's sing this one more time. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord. Hey, I couldn't find the judge anywhere. I don't know, maybe the competition was... No, he already but... came. Lifeguard Larry came, and guess what? He won! I, I wasn't even here! I know, but I told them about yours. I what happened in my and... castle? What? Oh, it was so beautiful, though. It was very beautiful, but it turns out it's about strength, not beauty. He poured water. That wasn't on the paper! Well, yours is a, this isn't... Oh, this is not even real! Well, ha! destroy it all you want. I still have the prize. Ooh, I don't even care. Okay. That's so unfair. I do care. I wanted to win. Well, I'm sorry. You can hold it if you want. Okay. Don't break it, though. Okay. No! Don't even think about it. <laughs> all right, PC kids. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching me win the challenge. We're going to pack up our toys here and head back to church. We'll see you there. It's so hot. <laughs> I am the champion, my friend. And I'll keep okay. building sand castles okay. till the end. I thought it was a good idea to be able to build it quicker. Because but, it'll be right by the water. But was it a good idea? Well, I didn't think lifeguard lunatic was going to dump a bunch of water his on His name my... is Larry. Give him some proper respect. He's a lifeguard. I thought he was going to just like look at how pretty it is. Mine was way prettier than yours. And yet here I am holding I didn't know it was going to be a trophy. strength test. Well, thank you for your help in helping me win by losing. I appreciate it. Um, all I right, got can... sand in my butt cheek, so I gotta go wash that out. Ew, it's giving okay. giving me some chafing. All right, you go take care of that. Can you put this up on a shelf for me? Find a nice spot where it'll look really good so I can look at it forever. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Today we are talking all about how we can trust in God because He is our everlasting rock. Just like that song that lifeguard Larry sang for us, we can trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Found in Isaiah 26, verse four. That Bible verse shows us that we can know that God is unchanging. He's just like this rock, oh, which is very heavy, right here. God is not gonna change. He is strong and he is gonna be there for us no matter what. The story that we learned about in the song as well was all about a man who built his house on the sand and a man who built his house on the rock. Now, one of those is a great idea and one of those is a terrible idea. And the Bible says that the person who built their house on the sand was foolish. They were not very smart because boys and girls, see this sand here? It might be fun to play with, but it's not going to stand up and last against the test of time. When storms and life comes, and just like this water here, when storms come in, it destroys what was there. The house or your life, if you're depending on this to hold you strong, it's not going to go very well for you. It's going to crumble and fall apart. Or if pressure comes into your life. Sometimes we have pressure in our lives and it tries to squeeze us and change us. And this sand, man, it is very easily crumbled and changed and it's not what it's supposed to be. 
But the rock here, the Bible says God is like a rock. He is not like this sand. And when you take the rock and you take it and you take the storms of life, maybe it's like getting sick, having things go not your way, hard things happen to all of us. And when the storms of life come on the rock, the rock doesn't change. Maybe pressure comes into your life and it tries to squeeze and change the rock. But no matter how hard I squeeze this rock, it's not gonna change. It's strong, it's firm, and it is unmoving. And that is like God in our life. We need to put our trust, our hope, our purpose, our peace, all of it, on the rock of Jesus. Because when we do, we know that it is not gonna move. It is not gonna change. And when the hard things of life come, we can still stay standing because God is our rock. He will always be there for us. We can always trust in Him. And we can know that no matter what happens in our life, God is there holding us up, giving a firm foundation to our life. Boys and girls, trust in the Lord forever because He is an everlasting rock. That is what you want to build your life upon, not this crumbly sand that's going to fall apart when life gets hard. I got good news. All right, what's your good news? Oh, did you find the sand that came out of out of my pants? Ew, no. It's, I'm, I'm all free of sand. Well, I'm very glad to hear that, but I did not need to know those details. Um, yeah, no, I was just teaching the kids about how God is our everlasting rock so and true. how we need to build our life on Him so and not on things that are changing and not stable like other things in this world. Amen. So good. Amen. All right. Well, I think we are going to head off. I'm going to go uh, see if I can get rid you of this thing. I specifically said do not make a mess on this table. Well, made a mess on this table. I did make a mess. So I'm going to go clean that up and uh, I'm going to get some payback from you making me kiss the fish. You liked it. <laughs> All right, so your job today, boys and girls, is I want you to build a house at home. Yes. Whether it's out of Lego or craft materials or maybe you've got sand in your house or in your backyard, I want you to build a house and then I want you to go and see if your house can withstand the storms of life. Getting me wet. <laughs> All right, so that's your daily challenge for today. Go build a house, have fun, and remember, God is our everlasting rock. He is a firm foundation that we can trust and build our life upon. All right, guys, have a great week, and see you next Sunday on PC Kids Online. Bye, we love you. Bye. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Trust in the Lord, the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock.